everybody? <clears throat> can you all hear me? Oh, I can barely see you. So um, I'm, a, I'm a developer. You can tell by me wearing sneakers and a funny t-shirt instead of a jacket and a suit. Um, I also usually talk to developers, which tend to have their chairs set up like right in front of the stage, and I feel like a true rock star. So thanks, Monique, and everybody for inviting me. Um, ooh, so um, I got to do, my, my job here is to get you interested in the technology track, which is for the housekeepers across the hall and upstairs. And if you ask me, and you already like me and you trust me because we've been friends for a long time, the track, the technology track, just the setting for this conference is the most beautiful track. It just, if that's not enough for you, that's cool. I'll spend some more time getting you interested about attending the track. But just for the looks of it, it's just the best one. I don't want to go anywhere else when I'm up there. So um, I got to, do, got to do a little bit of show of hands so you could start warming up your right hand. Who here is a developer or does core technology work in his, every, his or her everyday work? A few. Who does um, core business decisions that affect choices of technology that then technologists in your company um, affect? Also a few, it's about 50-50. What, what, what do the others do? <laughs> OK, cool. Um, <clears throat> um, I'm a developer. I said that. I'll repeat that for a while. I've been doing this for about 10 years. And one of the things that, <clears throat> um, that engineers get trained at, but that's a very human, human thing to do, is um, recognizing patterns. Our brain is a fantastic pattern recognition machine. I'm sure you all heard that. But engineers get trained to do that specifically. So I've been doing software stuff for about 10 years now, and I started recognizing a pattern as it's my job. <clears throat> and um, it, it's no news, but technology has adoption curves. So whenever you do something new, it takes a while for everybody to, to well, actually use that technology. And, um, but <clears throat> there's studies and studies about that. And, Again, it's not news. But what I recognize with my own work is that I, I used to work, or I do work, on, on open source and, and closed source uh, software. I work on infrastructure software that a lot of people are using today. <clears throat> and in my work, um, from the day of the inception of like me or my friends or colleagues writing code to a lot of people using it, it takes some time. And um, I used to work in core PHP, and a lot of people use PHP these days. And stuff I worked on five years ago that I barely remember doing are main, just mainstream right now that is available to everybody right now, five years later or three years later. Um, for new cutting edge technology, which my, my current startup is about, which I'm not going to bore you <coughs> with, um, it takes about a year for early adopters, for hardcore geeks to wrap their heads around and start using it, let alone if we ever get to mainstream adoption, that'll be nice, but we're not there yet. Um, so it, it takes some time for technology to be accepted in the world. And um, what I, being, well, I don't know, maybe a somewhat introspective person, I realized that to do my job well, I got I to gotta know what the world's going to look like in 12 months, in three years, in five years, so that I can build my software, design my software, the, the stuff that I build, um, that is competitive or that's attractive to people in, in the future. So my, my job is to predict the future, which, while well, I'm a trained engineer, I, I never got taught how to tell the future. If anybody knows, please let me know. <laughs> um, the, the point is, though, that or th there's good ways to, um, to stay ahead of the curve, basically. Um, the one is to surround yourself with other technologists that built the future. It's easy. Just like go to conferences where these people hang out and talk to them or read their blogs on the internet. That's, that all works. Um, but these confer the conference, like the next conference, which has some developers or technically oriented people, are traditionally not the kind of conferences that have cutting edge technology tracks that are, OK, here's what technology looks like. Here's some cool new stuff. Maybe a company is a sponsor, and they do some new product pitch. But it's not really, really truly cutting edge stuff that I would be interested in. So I usually don't attend this conference. So what the hell am I doing here? Um, the, the technology track, it's curated by Holger Blank, it's a friend of mine, and he did a really, really good job uh, inviting a set of speakers. And I'll, I'll be the first speaker, which I find is awesome, but it's beside my point. <laughs> There's a lot of other people that are my friends and other people that I respect in the industry that are going to talk about the stuff they are working on today. And be, it being my job to stay ahead of the curve, I'll be happily attending the technology track to learn new stuff. Like, it, it's, it's going to be that good. 
for, for, for technology oriented or te technologists. Um, so if, if you trust that I'm going to learn stuff, you're definitely going to learn stuff. So that's, that's, that's a pretty, like, I like it's a good intro to that. Um, I also want to like, um, uh, go, like, give you the broad term. So Monique asked me, like, pick one of the topics and then talk about that. Like, pick your favorite topic and talk about it to like, get, get people interested in the te technology track. And I'm like, OK. And I looked at the, the tracks, and like, I'm first. That's cool. I can talk about my stuff all day and for weeks on end if you want to. But like, I didn't feel like picking myself like, kind of unfair for our other speakers. So I kept looking, just a ba ba probably like, kept it in the back of my head. Like, I'm, I'm a fallback. If I don't have any better, I just talk about my stuff. It's going to be all right. But um, I kept looking. Like, this is all great stuff. Like, it's not that, that any of them would like, stand out and be my favorite. It's all good. So well, what was I to do? So I wrote. Back weather, like light night email, not fight, but back and forth. I want to promote your track, so allow me. Okay. In my experience, I mean, I've been in a lot of tech, media, marketing conferences. The tech part is always the best part because the technology people among themselves, there's, there's no bullshit. You know, they share what they know as best they can and then exchange notes. and. There seems to be almost no competition about real geeks. You know, they just love what they do so much yeah. that they want to share it. Yeah. And I know that you you've been working very hard on Couchbase, the project, uh, you know, open databases, and, and right. making sure to share that also with everybody to use it. Yes. So that seems to be the biggest, I know, delightful surprise of of how the world is developing. That for the geeks and the creative people and the people that want to share, it's a wonderful world. And I think your track probably nails it right on the head where the real technology gets exchanged. Am I right? That, that's a pretty good summary, yes. Yeah. Fra <laughs> frankly, fr frankly. Thank you very much. No, no, sorry. You're, still... You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to mention another topic that's in your track? Just sorry? You want to mention another topic that's in your track just to oh, I, get the... I, I, I gave you the meta description of what the... the the, the, the track is going to be, so I, I was going to go into a bunch of details, but if you want to boo me off stage, that's fine. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free, yeah? <laughs> All right, cool. So the, um, <clears throat> Alverna did, a, did the, the opening keynote, of course, and um, he, he, or by, by way of his job, he talks about cloud computing, which is cool. But, um, well, two years ago, cloud computing was about to be, oh, it was cutting edge, where people were like, oh, this is interesting, let's look at this. Like, today, cloud computing is mainstream. Like, if you go to conferences like this that are not this, that show stuff that is already mainstream, that to show you stuff that you're behind with, it's kind of not what you want. Like, I expect you guys to come to a conference called Next to not learn about stuff that's, if you're not doing that already, you're already behind. I expect you staying ahead of the curve a little bit already. Um, so cloud infrastructure is all cool, um, but it's, it's, not, it's not all, like, it doesn't solve all the problems, and there's, as the world's starting to emerge, the cutting edge, the post-cloud infrastructure, that's what I call it, at least. I uh, hope to make it a word. Um, help me, please. Um, but that doesn't mean that the cloud hype is over. The, the, the cloud is a good thing, and it's going to stay, and it has a lot of benefits, and it's not going to go away when, when we need the cloud to advance our, the technology industry. But as, as staying ahead of the curve, I got to ask, and I hope you got to ask, what's next? So we got to learn a little bit of... What, what, what comes after the cloud? Well, what, what is the next step after, OK, everybody's using cloud infrastructure. What now? Um, and the second part of that is kind of complementary. It's mobile, of course. Well, when I started technology about 10 years ago, like mobile was the next big thing. And then nine years ago, mobile was going to be the next big thing. And then eight years ago, mobile was going to be the next big thing. And it didn't took until 2007 and the iPhone and the smartphone revolution for phones to become the really next big thing. And my pet theory is that Traditional phones don't have a software platform to work for, and most of our revolution in the IT industry is because of software, not of hardware. So there wasn't any, any, any way to work on, on mobiles until smartphones. Now the smartphone revolution is totally obvious. Um, but if you think that this is cutting edge stuff, you're already behind. Like you, you must be using the, the benefits of a mobile computing infrastructure that we have with mobile phones. And again, and you, 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 you must, if you're asking what, um, how you want to stay ahead of the curve, what's next? Um, you're going to learn about what, what the current state of the cutting edge is, not of what, where you're already behind. So th this is like the, the two broad topics. And there's some more stuff in there that, that you've got to learn what's next in the IT industry. And um, yeah, with that, I'd like to invite you uh, upstairs to the technology track. Thank you very much. Yeah.